Hello everybody and be welcome to the Skyrim mod series showing you the bloody dragon bones made by Vera available on the Skyrim Nexus. This mod was made by the same guy who brought you the Elder Gleam dragon bones. The texture is available in 1K, 2K and 4K quality. It looks very burnt and bloody with carbonized black spots, flaws and dry blood. When Vera told me about his mod, he said also, I'm actually really anti-gore and getting inspiration as vegetarian with Google was almost as smart as visiting Forjan, hoping to see some cool cat pics. Well, I can imagine what you will find if you Google for gory stuff on Google. Probably the worst of the worst. This second mod is called Flyable Dragons, made by G3X, available on the Skyrim Nexus. So you can imagine what this mod will bring you. You have to go to High Rothka and there will be a patrolling Draugr called Draugr Born, and he will have some stuff, a spell or also a shout and this lets you call a dragon which you can ride. So there are quite a few mods out there which give you the, the option, the feature to actually ride a dragon. Um, what you see here is that I called him and he swoops down and then I yeah, ride dragon immediately. Unfortunately Skyrim is so cool with the, the LOD that if the object doesn't really fit or is like here not really visible because I'm standing with the camera totally stupid there that the dragon just fades out I hate that but whatever so however there are a lot of mods out there who give you that you can fully control the dragon you can move to the left to the right and up down and stuff like that um, sometimes the legs are kind of yeah I don't know they're really freaking out and the head is looking to the left and to the right I guess that he's trying to look at the character which is of course not possible because he can turn the head around 180 degrees and also I read that there is actually he's acting like a horse and that's why he is so slow and there's a platform under the dragon which gets moved depending on how or where you are moving and like that the dragon is kind of flying. There is actually an invisible platform under the dragon which gives you the feeling that the dragon is flying. So that's how it works and like I said there are a couple mods out there. There's also another mod called Dragonfly mod which got just uploaded who does the same and I thought I'm just gonna show you that because tomorrow there will be Dragonborn and maybe then we have some new mechanics some new features with Dragonborn, the new expansion, that, or DLC, it's the same kinda, kinda, that will give us, or the modders, new features to actually create new Dragonfly mods to improve that stuff. And let's see how that will turn out. This mod here is not finished, it's uh, beta kind of. But I don't think that with uh, how Skyrim currently is, with the creation kit, with the engine, um, I don't think that it's even possible to make some stuff really immersive. Like a dragon will always look weird and never behave good. And that's just because the engine is so slow, the scripts are so slow and actually the vanilla Skyrim scripts don't support such stuff. You need the SKSE for that, which gives new scripts. but. The SKSE is, uh, is more scripting, it's more complex and stuff takes even longer than to, to take effect, the scripts to take effect. That's why the chicken that beta mod is also kind of slow with converting the models, the, the chicken, that chicken into the corpse parts and it's kind of unfortunate. So let's see if there will be something new with the Dragonborn mod regarding that stuff, especially the dragon flying. but. If you would ask me, I would say it's it won't really happen. It will, it it won't happen with that engine. It's it's just not. Um, there have to be so many workarounds that it's just every time a little bit, just like 
it just works huh, huh, with a very fast PC and, and stuff like that. But however, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.